Do you want to be able to create images of yourself quickly in absolutely any situation imaginable? I have been putting my face on literally just about everything and been having an absolute blast. Now you might need headshots for business and you can't just get out and shoot them. I like to use it to make YouTube thumbnails for my YouTube channel. You might even have a movie or a TV show that you're making and want to visualize your actors in a certain way before you actually get them into wardrobe and makeup and get a location and get your entire crew out there for a shoot. You can also also just make fun pictures for just about anything for no reason at all because you just want to see what it would look like to be riding a dragon. Yes, I did that. I'm going to take you through the entire process and at the end of this video you will be able to just prompt an image of yourself doing whatever it is you want to be doing. It's actually really really simple too. Now remember to like and subscribe to the channel it will really help me out if you find this useful or helpful in any way. Okay, so what we're actually going to do is we are going to be training a LoRa, L-O-R-A. What is that you ask? A LoRa is a low rank adaptation, LoRa, a technique for fine tuning large machine learning models that's used to adapt them for specific purposes without retraining the entire model. So basically what you're doing is taking all this data that they've already done to actually get you those images and what you're doing is you're fine tuning them on your face. Yes, there you have it. First what you're going to do is you're going to go to fal.ai, that's fal.ai. You're going to sign up for an account right here. I've already done that so I'm going to just go through the process. Now you're also going to have to sign up for a GitHub account. Uh, if you don't know what GitHub is, that's the place where people basically put their code and developers go to fork or basically take other people's code and use it to build applications. So you're going to have to sign up for a GitHub account, link your GitHub account, uh, just like that, it's going to say continue with GitHub, just like you do two-step authentication for Google or for any of the other programs that you use and applications that you use. At the top of your page, you are going to click on the word explore. That's going to take you to this page. And right on the front, you see right here is a big banner and it's a Flux is here. Train a Flux Laura. You're going to just click on that. And then you are going to be here where you're going to train the Flux Laura. And now what you're going to need is you're going to need about 20 to 25 images of yourself. And you're going to want them in different sizes, different backgrounds, and you want to make sure that they cover the gamut of different compositions. I actually just took mine and I went into Canva because I like to uh, actually have the same size image. So I went in there, I cropped everybody out who was not me. And um, if you look right here, uh, these are my 20 to 25 images. You'll see I have glasses in some. I turn my head in others. I have a larger beard. I have less of a beard. And um, this is just me in all sorts of different positions. Uh, and, you know, see some I'm further away, some I'm closer to camera. And then what you do is if you do this in Canva or you do it somewhere else. So what I did is I just took all of these and I uh, downloaded them into a zip file. So PNG is suggested. I just used all of the pages and I hit download. Takes one second. Now I come back over to foul and then I am going to upload my zip. So it says add images and the you could just add the images right here or you can pick a zip file. So I went ahead and I did that and see it has my selected uh, zip file. So what's great about this is there are so many features that you could do. You can create masks. There's advanced features. You don't really need any of that. You're going to click start right here. I'm not going to do it again because I already did it, but running this training is going to cost you about $5. You're just going to upload your payment method and go ahead and click run. This entire process took about 10 minutes for me. Now all you're going to do is you're going to click run inference and just start generating. It's pretty rad what you can do. So let's start right here. I'm going to say Ben in a jungle hanging out with a monkey. And I'm going to click run. That looks like me hanging <laughs> with a monkey in a jungle. Uh, I'm going to say Ben eating pizza near the Eiffel Tower. That is a large pizza. That is the Eiffel Tower. Let's try this one. Ben getting ready to bungee jump off of the Statue of Liberty. Ben. 
then skateboarding down a half pipe. I have never skateboarded in my life, so this actually would never happen. Then skiing down a mountain. I love this so much. It's pretty incredible what you can do. Uh, have fun with it. Just go wild. You will have to keep a little bit of money in your wallet on foul. Each one costs a couple of pennies, but it is worth it. You can use this for so many different things. Have fun and just send me pictures of what you generate. It is a blast. Thanks. I'll see you next video.